On this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your intercom webhooks to work with Wirtrick. So for that, we need two things. One is your intercom account and the other is your Wirtrick account. So now let's just go back to intercom. And in here, I needed to go to your account settings, then go to developers, and then click on developer hub. From developer hub, we need to create a new app. So let's assign a meaningful name for your new app. That will be Woodtrick Webhooks. And in here, uh, you want this to live inside the workspace that you will be sending the surveys from or where you actually have your user data. So you don't want to create this over test or any other thing. Just create it on your production environment and make sure that you don't create a public app because you don't need that. Just create an internal integration. So click on create app. And now you will be able to modify what's inside your app. And one of the things that are inside your app is webhooks. So click on webhooks and you will see two things. One is the endpoint URL that your uh, web, webhooks are going to talk. And the other one is the topics that you can subscribe to. In our particular case, we only listen to one of these topics, which is conversation closed. That means that we will trigger a survey when a conversation is closed. So for that, let's just uh, select that topic, conversa conversation admin closed. And now let's go and get our URL from Wootrick. So on Wootrick, you have to go to your account settings and then from there, go all onto trigger surveys, then trigger surveys based on intercom events and enable them. In this case, I want to trigger email surveys, so I'll copy this link and bring it over intercom. Then I'm going to save this. And the next time uh, a customer closes, uh, sorry, an operator closes an interaction with a customer, a conversation in this case, uh, an email will be fired and they will get a Wootrick survey. Thank you.